Hello again there, everyone. This is Wayback Sports Cards, and we're doing another box break. It's the end of the week. We're opening 1991 Score NFL Football Series 2. Um, I'm going to share some information on this product on the screen over the next minute or so, and also some uh, recent PSA sales. And um, the key thing here is it's Series 2. So Series 2, we do have the chance of finding ourselves a Brett Favre rookie card and hopefully we'll find one here in this 36 pack box so um as i get this box situated and these cards ready to go um we've found far of rookie cards in a couple of products we've opened on this channel before we've if you want to check the video on 91 uh flair ultra we've also found far of rookies in 91 upper deck and we also found far of rookies in pro set platinum all in the archives on the channel so with that um here in my hand is the pack of 1991 score series 2 nfl football 16 cards per pack and you see there is a chance albeit a very small one and an unlikely one to win dream team autograph cards so, um, actually it looks like maybe a sweepstakes. So, um, win two ways instantly or in a sweepstakes drawing. So, um, we'll see. I, I doubt we'll find one, but, um, nevertheless, here are the packs and we're going to get opening because we've got 36 packs to open. As you can see, these are the plastic packs that score basically used in this era. I expect a lot of duplicates here. So let's get going. As you can see, cards have like a creamsicle border that kind of fades to white. Player picture on the front. Logo in the lower left-hand corner with the player's name and position. On the back, another color photo close-up. Some stats and a brief, uh, uh, some little brief information on the player. Uh, personal stats up at the top of the card. So that's just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. Looks like the creamsicle look is constant throughout. Jim Lachey recently signed cards for me through the mail. So those of you who are looking to do that. We've got this dream team uh, of Mike Munchak. Actually, creamsicle is not on all of them. So there, there you go. There's the bears. So interesting card design. Score 91. The leader, Bruce Smith. Looks like another the leader of Barry Sanders. So a lot of cool subsets here. Hall of Famer, Tex Schramm. So, um, and then comeback player of the year, Marcus Dupree. And then a Wesley Carroll rookie card. So a lot going on there in just the first pack. Um, this is not a high-end product. This is definitely junk wax. But score seems to have done a pretty good job in this era of... Uh, Providing a lot of different uh, subsets and things to kind of keep you, you know, fans interested over a 16-pack break. There's John Elway, Thurman Thomas, Dream Team, Carl Banks, awesome card, signed a card for me through the mail recently, Pat Leahy, Ernest Biner, Team MVP cards, so a lot of cool Little uh, subset cards there. Eric B. Enemy, rookie back, uh, running back rookie card. Hold on to that. Um, and Herman Moore, rookie card. Had some great years with the Lions. So a couple of cool rookie cards there. And um, yeah, a lot happening in just two packs. I mean, we're four minutes in and I'm holding two packs deep. Um, that says a lot about what's going on in the packs. For, for Junk Wax, it's... Um, Fairly interesting stuff here. There's early career junior Seau. Um, no doubt I'm going to hold on to that. Warren Moon card. Chris Carter focusing on the catch there. Jimmy Jones. Neil Smith defensive end. Ernie Mills. Another Herman Moore rookie card. Mike Pritchard. Blaze Bryant. And a Reggie White sack attack. So cool with the bullseye. So... At three packs in, I I'm already kind of digging the product. Um, in 1991, if you were looking for something cheap um, for your cards, but you want to bang for your buck, I, I think Score Series 2 is a pretty good, 
Let's see how I feel after a few more packs. You can see this one's already coming out dinged. So um, a couple of cards are dinged. Another, that's a Bruce Matthews card. Uh, Richard Dent. Another Eric B. Enemy. Another Herman Moore. Three Herman Moores already. Mike Pritchard, Blaze Bryant. So uh, right off the bat, the rookie cards seem to be at the back of the pack. And um, I guess there's only so many. So maybe they printed more of them. But that's a lot of Herman Moore rookie cards for uh, just a few packs. There's another Bruce Matthews, Greg Lloyd card there, Wade Wilson, Mo Gardner, cool Warren Moon artwork card. I like that. I'm going to put that up here. In the background, Steve DeBerg, Brooks, and cool Barry Sanders. Awesome artwork cards right there. So, cool stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think too much of this is worth, uh, you know, these cards are not commanding a high premium out there on, on the secondary market, but um, this is so far fun break. A Rodney Hampton card, a Dan Marino, nice. Jerry Rice, three back to back to back. Andre Risen, Dream Team. Another Herman Moore, that's four. Reggie White sack attack and a Joe Montana team MVP. Really cool. So Herman Moore, the leader in the clubhouse here with four cards out of about, uh, I don't know, eight, eight or nine packs here. Don Majkowski, Jermani Dawson. Looks like a Jim Lachey card, yep. Steve Young, the lefty fireballer there. Reggie Roby, punter. Ellard, Rod Woodson. Eric Turner, Zorch, and Jake Reed rookie cards. Hoping for at least a couple of farms. I mean, we uh, Herman Moore's not a bad player to find multiple cards of, though. So uh, just hope we can find some farms. Another Thurman Thomas. A lot of rookie cards in that pack. About six or seven rookie cards. And you can see already, we're, we're seeing uh, duplicates here. Nice Barry Sanders. Mark Clayton, underrated receiver of the day there. One of Dan Marino's favorite targets. It would be something if we could somehow find an autograph card in this box. I, I just... Highly doubt it, considering how few they had. There's Herschel Walker. Daryl Green, the great cornerback. Mark Bavaro, great tight end for the Giants. Andre Reed. Bobby Wilson, rookie. Adrian Cooper. No. Just a few general rookie cards there. I like how Score says on the front of their packs that these are the official card of the 90s. Interesting claim there. I don't know that too many people share that sentiment. I don't know what the, the cards of the 90s would be. Uh, now that we have the benefit of hindsight, curious, maybe Upper Deck? St uh, Shannon Sharp. Oh no, Sterling Sharp, I'm sorry. Sterling Sharp there. There's a refrigerator, William Perry, followed by a Deion Sanders. 
score 91, great card. Jake Reed, Bill Musgrave, Eric Moten, Vince Clark, and a really cool Bruce Smith, the leader card right there. So we've kind of dried up the last couple of packs here with uh, big hits, but let's see if we can uh, turn that around. We've still got a ways to go. Kevin Porter, John Offerdahl. This is Keith Jackson, tight end. Jerry Rice card. That looks like a Mark Carrier, Rookies of the Year, Emmett Smith and Mark Carrier. Cool. John Hanna, Hall of Famer, and an Ed King rookie card. Icky Woods, famous for the Icky Shuffle. Those who don't know that, they should look that up on uh, YouTube. Andre Reed. Lawrence Dossey. Kevin Donnelly, Steve Jackson, Harvey Williams, and Browning Nagel. So we're finding uh, a lot of rookie cards. The Herman Moores have thankfully uh, stopped for the moment. Got four of those. Rob Moore, good receiver there for the Jets. Vinny Testaverde later became, speaking of the Jets, later became a Jet quarterback. Another Andre Reid. Greg Lloyd. So Scott Miller, Ricky Waters running back. Hold on to that. And another Warren Moon. Those who are doing, uh, sending out cards to players through the mail, this is a really good set for uh, signatures. The cards, the photos are very light for the most part. So I think a signature would really stand out on these. And the card stock is good too to kind of hold the um, hold the signature. The only thing I wouldn't use for signature would be these uh, uh, Dream Team cards. I just don't think the signature would show up too well on something like that. But otherwise, these base cards look Pretty good for signatures. Another Richard Dent. And I got to get back on the through the mail autograph chain. I, I've taken a bit of a break from it. I've kind of been building up some cards to send out. Marcus Allen with his eyes closed. Interesting choice of photo. I don't know if anybody saw that before they put it out. Brian Jordan, probably more famous as a baseball player, but strong safety for the Falcons as well. He's one of those uh, two-sport players with uh, Deion Sanders. Dennis Bird, sack attack. Uh, those uh, Dennis Bird, bit of a tragic story if you end up looking him up. Promising career, tragic uh, life there. Marion Butts, Neil Anderson, uh, Leahy, and Ernst Biner in that pack. So, even with the um, the packs that don't have star players, there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on with the um, you know different types of cards in the pack. It's, for junk wax, it holds your attention pretty well. Most junk wax gets pretty boring pretty fast with all the duplicates. There's Steve Mongo McMichael. Another Carl Banks. Ooh, awesome. Crunch Crew of David Fulcher. Awesome looking card. I love that. So we're about halfway through the box here. Ricky Prohl, another Thurman Thomas, Randall Hill, Kelvin Pritch, Alvin Harper had some nice seasons for the Cowboys in the early 90s as part of a couple of Super Bowl teams. 
not quite the Michael Irvin level, but Alvin Harper was part of that receiving core that won some Super Bowls. Altoon in an uncharacteristically dark photo in this set. Merrill Hodge, another Herschel Walker, another Andre Risen, Rod Woodson base card. Another Joe Montana, Pepper Johnson there with the Giants, L.R. Woodson, and an Eric Turner rookie card. So, still on the hunt for the Favre. Pretty sure he's in Series 2, so I'll have to, we'll have to find out. See if we can catch one here. Nice. Michael Urban. Player selection is really good for Series 2. Uh, they, they really did a good job of holding a lot of star players. Brent Jones, good tight end for the Niners. Another Eric B. Enemy. These days, I believe he is still coaching the uh, still coaching the Kansas City Chiefs in the coaching staff of Andy Reid. I know his name has been mentioned for some head coaching roles, but I don't believe those have come to fruition just yet. Uh, Steve DeBerg. What do we got here? This is a Bruce Armstrong. Reggie White, sack attack, another Montana, and another Pepper Johnson. Keith Jackson, good tight end there for the Eagles. Jim Everett, Pete Stoyanovich, man, this goes back. Kent, longtime kicker there. Anthony Miller, another Andre Risen, this looks like a Steve DeBerg, the leader, Charles Haley sack attack, a Ronnie Lott crunch crew, awesome, and a Joey Browner crunch crew, so a lot of action there with the, um, with the subsets, not so much with the rookies in that pack, so we'll, uh, Continue along. We got Mark Duper again. So we're definitely seeing duplicates here. Dean Biasucci has, uh, he gets the multi photo treatment on his card. I don't know why he does and nobody else, but I always found that interesting. Certain players would get that photo treatment who maybe, you know, you would think of Joe Montana might get the cool card treatment or, um, you know, another Hall of Fame type player. But weird that, that they would choose to give the uh, a kicker or a punter the uh, multi-card or multi-photo treatment. John Offord Dahl. Andre Reed, Dream Team. Vince Clark. Bruce Smith. A Barry Sanders, nice. Another Hall of Famer and a Comeback Player of the Year card. Okay, we got Haywood Jeffries, wide receiver. Jackson, Aaron Craver rookie, another Rod Woodson, another Eric Turner, and a Chris Zorich. So a couple of uneventful packs in a row there. Another Michael Irvin. Joey Browner, Crunch Crew, Dean Dingman, Stan Thomas, Jesse Campbell, and a Pat Swilling team MVP.
Marcus Allen again with the eyes closed in his photo. Don't understand that selection. Warren Moon, Dream Team. Russell Maryland rookie card. He was a top pick. Seth Joyner, Jeff Ostetler, Bill Musgrave, quarterback with the Packers, Eric Moten, Vince Clark, and then we got a Bruce Smith and Barry Sanders to finish the pack. So finding a lot of Barry Sanders, finding a bunch of Montanas in here. So, um, you know, finding some pretty good cards, at least for, for this set. Phil Sims, have not found him yet. Reggie White, I don't think we've seen him either. Maybe this bodes well for the rookies. Ricky Waters, Mo Gardner, and then we got a Warren Moon and a Steve DeBerg. Uh, about seven packs here to go. That's Derek Thomas. Nice. Hall of Fame of Stan Jones. Thurman card. We've got Richard Johnson. And then Todd Marinovich. Rookie card. And Todd Marinovich. Definitely a name. of Somebody who a lot of scouts thought would make it. In the NFL. Never, never quite lived up to the hype. Another Icky Woods. That was a Dan Mosbar dream team. Another LT. Barry Sanders again. Right. Now Wesley Carroll, William Thomas are the last two. Down to five packs. And actually, I'm going to hold one. And I'm going to open it on the... Um, I'm going to hold one. Which I'm going to put right up here. Save it for the Instagram feed that I will open up live on a reel on my Instagram. So... Save one. Herman Moore. There's the fifth one. We haven't seen one in a while. And Reggie White, Sack Attack. So uh, three more. And then we will uh, wrap this up. And uh, we do, or we will likely have another video this weekend. Uh, Non-sports. This is our sports uh, pack break or box break for the week um we are way back sports cards so we do specialize in sports breaks but we are going to do the occasional non-sports and i do have a few non-sports items lined up for the channel walter dean in a very uh, grainy photo mark vanderpoel howard griffith dennis smith crunch crew and a dennis bird um so i got some non I got some non-sports cards I haven't decided which one I'm going to open yet. I've got some X-Force cards, some Simpsons 1990 tops, and I've also got some uh, DC Cosmic cards. Um, they'll all be coming in the... Uh, whichever one I do this week, I'll do the others in the following weeks. Dan Marino. I don't think we've seen him yet. Aikman, Troy Aikman, nice. And a crunch crew of David Fulcher. And our last pack here of the break. Um, so let me know what you guys think um, about 1991 score. I'm curious to see if you guys have opened any. And uh, if you found any Farbs, uh, let me know. Barry Sanders. Dan Marino again. Another Aikman, very similarly packaged pack there. So with that, um, that is the end of our 1991 score box break. I'm going to open this pack on the Instagram feed. But overall, pretty fun box break. Lots of subsets in here. Lots of cool cards. Um, got a bunch of Montanas, you know, Rices, Sanders. Got all the big players in here. Uh, which is a good job by score on the Series 2. Lots of rookie cards, uh, five Herman Moores. Uh, no Brett Favre in here, though. 
Um, but that is 1991 score. I found this box for $15 at a local card shop, I believe. Um, and overall, it's a, it's a good buy. If you could find it for that $15, $20 range, I think you're doing pretty well, and I would recommend the purchase. So with that, this is 1991 score NFL Football Series 2. Um, we'll be back next week with another sports box break. Until then, thank you for watching. Have a great day and a great weekend, everyone. So long.